this is Heather with WWJT and I'm here to redo my testimony the first time that it was on here uh, it, it was a tad bit long so uh, Perry suggested that I redo it so okay um one of the questions that I struggled with for um, a lot of the, a lot of time was um, why would the Lord save somebody like me? And um, and Perry put it to me very plainly was um, the Lord has unconditional love for his children. And my response to that was, surely not I. But the reason that I say that is because I was into tarot cards, spells, all that pagan <clears throat> uh, Wicca stuff. But, um, and to, to understand my reason and why I, I got into that, um, was, um, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to drink a soda here. Yeah. Um, the, the, the reason that I got into that was um, bullying, dysfunction, um, a lot of dysfunction. And the, the bullying portion of it um, you know, broken bones, sprains, bruises, um, cruel, inhuman pranks, um, jokes, <laughs> and a lot of years I, I put up with that. And mom blamed me for most of it. You know why? I don't know. You know, I'm sure I'm sure I'll find her reason and when the Lord comes back and I can ask her after she comes out of her grave. Um But anyway, um and, 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 and the, the bullying didn't just go on in, in school, it carried on into my church. Um, Mom wanted to make sure that I got into um, church, into uh, confirmation classes, Sunday school, all that stuff. She, she never asked me whether or not I, I wanted to go, uh, what I thought about it. Um, cause frankly, at the time, I, I, I really didn't. But, you know, she put her foot down, lost a lot. Okay. So, uh, you know, not so many... Not, not so many happy memories, you know. So, my means of escape was um, my sister. Um, she, uh, she, 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 she was the cool sister, you know. I, I looked up to her so much and so many things. But anyway, um, 
she uh, got me into um, tarot cards. She bought me my, my first deck when I was 16. And um, she, she taught me how to, how to do spreads and layouts, read the cards and interpret them. And I, I used them a lot. And I would often um, try to predict my own future. Um, I, I got really good using those. And it, it eventually graduated to uh, doing spells. And I got into uh, palm reading, astrology, astronomy, numerology, all that stuff. And, and that carried on into um, my uh, early 20s. And, um,. <clears throat> and unfortunately with with all the dysfunction that had happened in my life um, I I fell into the, the family dynamic of drinking and um, it, it, it got it got to a point where um, I I show up drunk at work, show up drunk at school, um, tried uh, to commit suicide three times. Um, you know, obviously I failed. Um, It, it alcohol was my coping mechanism and um, in 2005 uh, when I was um, still attending college um, mom uh, got the news that she had cancer so I dropped out of college um, to to help dad and, and assisted her um, you know with, with her needs and whatnot and um, and four months after she got the diagnosis she uh, passed away and that got to be a very low point um, in my life because mom and I didn't have the, the, the greatest of relationship and there there was a lot of damage done over the years and we had gotten to a point where we had finally started to, to to heal some of that damage that that was done, and got to a really good point in in our relationship. And when she passed away, um, my my anger with the Lord um, was well overflowed at that time, and I got even deeper into alcohol um, every, every day just bottles upon bottles that, that, that I would go through and um, it, 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 it didn't matter morning, noon, night uh, breakfast, lunch, supper I did not care and along Along with that came a lot of um, uh, dysfunctional uh, relationships uh, with with men. 
um, one, one particularly left me homeless in um, a big city. That, that was fun. But, um, just one day I was uh, sitting in my apartment and uh, I just kind of got this revelation that um, I needed to clean up my life. And I'm like, okay, you know, if I got tired of the drinking, tired of the anger, tired of the dysfunction, um, tired of the witchcraft, um, tired of not being sober. And my uh, former best friend at the time, she uh, was wanting me to move to where she was for several years, so I called her up, finally took her up on her offer, and um, she um, helped pack up some of my stuff, um, all, all that could fit in her car, and um, drove me to, to where she was. Um, she told me that I wasn't going to be staying with her, but rather two friends of hers whom I did not know. They put me in the basement in this uh, small dark damp room with only one window. And um, that was the start of my new beginning. Because this friend had... Um, she, she, she had known Perry for uh, quite a few years and um, dragged me along with to uh, um, meet him and watch a movie and whatnot. So I met him and there, there was something different about him. There was this incredible light about him that was so different from anybody that that I had encountered in in my life and um so eventually um we we met began a relationship got married um you know, started our own little family. Um, and when I when I met him that that first day, he uh, listened to me rant and rave about um, my life, ranted and raved about God and my anger with him, my reason and for my anger. And he just sat there and listened. He, 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 he wasn't offended, he wasn't, you know, upset for me talking bad about his father, nothing like that. And it wasn't, you know, fast forward a few years, um, when our daughter was born, um, I started reading the Bible more, and, um, I, I, I was rocking her to sleep, and um, we were listening to, I think it was either K-Love or K-Heart radio, and um, I'm just sitting there listening to it, and um, I, I asked the Lord to come into my heart and mold, mold it like clay mold me into the person that he wants me to be. And, um, and so I did. I've read um, 
most of the Bible now, uh, all of the New Testament, about three quarters of the Old Testament, and um, for the witchcraft, um, I laid that down um, when when I moved, um, and the alcohol, I laid that down also when I moved. There were a couple, um, uh, setbacks, I guess, if you will, where, um, you know, I got back into it for a brief while, but, um, but overall it's been 11 years now, you know, since all that. And, um, as far as my anger with the Lord, um, I uh, laid that to rest. And now, um, I'm a Bible reading, homeschooling, animal loving, volunteering mom. And, um, I strongly believe now in the Word and try to, um, model myself after uh, Proverbs 31 a woman and um, works out for the best. So when when I say why would why would the Lord um, want to save anybody like me I I think it's because, um, oh, bad time in the phone. I think it's because this was who I was meant to be, and God was just being patient and biding his time. And, um, this is who I was meant to be. So, uh, to make a long story short, there it is, um, witchcraft, dysfunction, addiction, um, uh, suicide, uh, that was all a thing in the past, so, this is Heather with WWJT.